the sky calls to us. If we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars. Cosmos, a three-movement choral suite from the Carl Sagan Somewhere. Tribute Series. my church, I was an angry young person. Everything I'd ever been told was true suddenly appeared before me as it actually was. A vicious, cruel lie designed to intimidate, shame, control, and stifle humanity and keep us under the control of our keepers. It wasn't just the damage done to me, it was the impact on all of us. I became a feral animal, a teen runaway, homeless with the heroin and alcohol addicts. It is only sheer luck, native intelligence, and resourcefulness that kept me alive in a world of predators. evocative, sustaining, and inspiring aspects of my life in faith had been music. Our church had amazing choirs, orchestras, and bands. Music took me beyond the limits of my own ego and set me wondering and wandering into vast, gorgeous spaces of potential and possibility. My most stirring experiences in life all centered around music. So here I was on the streets with no music beyond popular pablum blasting from tinny speakers of my neighbors and passing cars. It was not meant to inspire, but to medicate and distract. I found no home in it, unless I was, like most around me, drunk or under the influence of other mind-altering chemicals, trying desperately to numb the longing I felt for connection to grandeur. Then Sagan's Cosmos came on my television. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. Suddenly, the universe was wonderful again, full of wonder, more magnificent than I could wrap my head around. I was dazzled, and the myths, superstitions, and unfounded fears of my childhood slipped from my struggling chest like old chains. I could breathe again. I owe Dr. Sagan my sanity and most probably my life. And for the rest of my life, Sagan's words and writings have offered real sanctuary from the drudgery and terror of a life lived in poverty, stress, and danger. 
when he died, I knew I'd somehow, with no access to education or privilege, continue his mission of the popularization of science, rational thought, critical thinking. Until today, I hadn't realized. Sagan sang his words. What I love about his writing is the evocation of wonder, the imperative demand that we see reality with humility at our puniness, and thrill that we even get to be here observing it. The only thing, and I mean the only thing, I miss about church is music. There is so little secular music that evokes the grandeur of the real world. And today, I discovered this. If religion were to be viable, useful, this music would be performed in every sacred space on earth. Are you listening, Unitarian Universalists? Sadly, it probably won't be so. If you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. When I die, please hold a modest memorial, a gathering of folk who actually gave a damn that my particular configuration of star stuff walked on this dust moat in cold blackness for a tiny moment. And please sing apple pie. Don't sing it for me. Sing it for yourselves. And love the fact that you got to be alive. Oh, <laughs> 
Kitzalah.